So this week on Inside the Play, we're going to have a look at Mark Bagley's big tackle in the last five minutes of our game against GWS that led to Jake Stringer's goal. And this is just how they've got to play moving forward. And they'll know that. They're confident with it now. That's going to be a really good game. Laverde, high ball. Whitfield, McGrath, a couple of number one draft picks going hard at it. And look at that man, Bagley. They're going to soccer a goal here. So to set this play up, uh, BJ's got the ball here in our back 50. There's about six minutes to go in the game, up by about 20 points. We'll flip behind the goals and point out Bags. So he starts here in the corridor. As this play unfolds, we'll just look at the different decisions that he makes. So firstly, we've shifted the ball into Adam Saad on the 45 there. Bags is now starting to move to the open side. There's the option here that we might switch it out to the right-hand side of the screen. Bags needs to get on the outside to potentially be a target down the line. Let the play keep running. Sardi decides to bring the ball back to the skinny side. So now Bags has to adjust again and get back in play. At this point here where Waller gets held up, Bags is probably not an option to get used straight away where he is. So his best option now is to move towards a long kick down the line if we're going to kick it towards Jake Stringer. As he moves towards that contest, he looks to put a block on potentially free Jake up to fly at the ball and then be a ground level support player. When we quick kick it forward, now he wants to reset and get into our forward line as quickly as possible. What we want from our forwards is a really good contest. Our players where the ball was to push hard forward, try and lock it in our forward half or ideally score. You watch Bags now, he puts the foot down, goes really hard, gets goal side of his opponent, plays a fantastic tackle on Lockie Whitfield. Jake Stringer nudges it through for a goal. What we also love about this is the way his teammates respond to it. Our boys really recognise and reward that sort of performance from Bags. So in this bit of play, Bags only gets credited with one tackle, but what we love about it is all the different decisions he makes within the play. We train a lot of these things so that on game day, he makes really instinctive decisions. Initially, he could get used for a switch, then he comes back to the skinny side, provides ground level support at the long kick contest, and then resets really hard forward to lay the tackle inside 50. And you can see at the end of the play just how much his teammates value it. Stringer into the open goal. It's a 28 point lead. Oh yeah, Bagley. He has been the man tonight. Big play there. 